We'll see. As they pan out, Theme Park Oregon go by the wayside. Cafe, that's no surprise to see it banned out. Now, Villa will come in. Um, Clubhouse and Coastline. Coastline, I'm very okay. surprised to see that survive. So, I've had a nightmare there, Jackie, but I don't mind at all because they are going to be some fantastic maps to watch. So, this is all about who turns up now. Leaving them second-guessing themselves when it comes to pushing and pulling, but we will see Pino pushing up Daisy. Live shuts him down. There's a trade back from Muzi. Ooh, I thought he was going to get himself the 2k, but unfortunately couldn't overpower KDS. And Psycho actually takes a bit of damage from the nade dropping in. There's an awkward encounter when it comes to the trade though, Tim. And this line of sight is brilliant for Julio. He can just hold mouse one and slaughter anyone that comes towards him. All of a sudden, we've fallen into a two on two with KDS and Yunar down on the site with the diffuser planted up against Julio and Psycho. NIP just holding now through the Ash Rush spot. Psycho is going to shut down Yuna. That is the plan to gone. And it's all down to KDS. He's one versus two. Psycho starts to get on that disable. I'm not sure that KDS is aware. I'm not sure if he's present. He is. He moves forward. But they're going to lose the round. You can see there, Psycho, he's holding an important position. I'm not sure that's a challenge that he needs to make there. He's got two deployable shields and a lot of utility trying to keep him safe. He's still well, making good progress. Pino. What a nice shot, just dropping into the crouch there and takes KDS along with him. But the nade, that will get a down as well onto Muzi. And we are shut down as Astro gets the kill onto Kamikaze and FaZe. They send a message. This one's going to be a tight game. You can see it already. Fawn in their side. If he peeps up and gets himself the 2k, slaughters them both. He's running away with the rounds as it falls back into a three on three now. This is where the tides are starting to turn. Awkward encounter for KDS, which is to the 5 7 and slaps him down bullet after bullet. Julio and Kamikaze both on the SAS operators. Here comes the first challenge. He will get the down, but Ooh. then it is a matter of seconds for KDS to follow in and just avenge his teammate. Pick up the second kill that they need as well. Look at that. Barely has to move his feet. And this could be the saving grace for them. He's taking down KDS early, puts them into a position where as long as they play for trades or net themselves a free frag, they could run away with the round. He peeks out. He slays from behind the shield, but he's traded upon there by live. The my disc still sucking them back right in front of their very eyes. Astro, though, deceiving their eyes. Somehow this man's walked in with an invisibility cloak. He finds the first frag, tries to pick up the second, but is backstabbed, and it's all on live, who I don't think will be living for much longer. Set ablaze. Barely. His heart is still pounding in his chest in a one versus three. Gets the close contact on Pino, knocking his block clean off. But there is a trade, an instantaneous one. As he'll fall and the round will go over, giving NIP a three to two split on the score. NIP looking pretty good so far. Muzi, the man we were speaking about in the early round, finally gets an opportunity to do some damage as he'll swing out onto Yuna. And he'll say, not the day, into the round, leaving them in a free versus free. A close encounter, wide swing from Ion, turning the corner on the buck, rinses his way through Kamikaze. KDS has traded upon, but he was so low. And this round has such a low chance of survivability now for live. A 1v2. He has to get this diffuser down. Six second plant, goes in for the fake, wants to bait them in. They will turn the corner, but Muzi, of course, he's going to hit his shot leaving him with lacerations as NIP walk away with a big advantage off the first half. Great round from Muzi there. I'm not 100% towards sure. a potential fifth on the board in round number eight. Kamikaze with a great shot through onto site. Takes Yuna out and right now live and I on. They are in a difficult position. The pressure is about to start mounting. From live as well. That could have been the follow-up frag to nearly equalize the position they're in is they're gonna outsmoke the smoke as he drops down to his knees and it is all on ion he's not gonna be standing for too long either nip cleaning up as they roll with the punches and decimate them into getting themselves a good lead now here on clubhouse right, astro's just taken damage there suggests that he was moving to throw a nitro out whilst pino is getting that diffuser down they're just baiting out this smoke utility there comes the nitro from astro question answered and delivered there as he shuts down the man squares things away three versus three but it's only slowed nip they are still able to get in kamikaze on the thermite he's going for the diffuser he's going to stick it this time trying to make those long angles work but unable to kamikaze gets the diffuser down and then sidesteps takes a drink and takes two men down 
from multiple angles. And I often say that that is the key to a successful attack onto Church and Arsenal. You cannot go one dimensional with it. Pino, he shuts down Ion. And right now, this is becoming a nightmare. It's becoming a coffin for FaZe as the ring of NIP players start to close in. But, and the next couple of kills are going to be absolutely crucial. Which way will they go? Can NIP finish this off? Psycho, he will get one onto Yuna. Traded with one from KDS onto Kamikaze. Five seconds left as Astro steps up with a massive double. Somebody had to do it for FaZe. Somebody had to grab the round and the game by the scrub for the neck. Ion gets himself a kill to bring at least a little bit of a man count advantage towards FaZe. And this is exactly the reason why you need control of CCTV and Cash. We can see them getting hit hard on the south windows. But NIP fight back and we find ourselves two versus three. This is still doable for the ninjas in pyjamas. They could finish this off here, but they're going to have to find themselves some more kills. That's the first one. Kamikaze onto live. Two versus two. Eight seconds to go. They need to think about getting into a position to get that diffuser down. The time is ticking away. And right now, FaZe trying to keep themselves alive. It's Yuna. We said coming in, he'd been a little bit quiet, but this time he strikes from the bathroom with a double at the end of the round. And we're going all the way to 12, Jackie. The footsteps will be heard, but is there an extension from KDS? He could run the risk here if he peeks out, but instead the bait play works out. Yuna peeks up, shoots Pino, punishing him and leaving us again in a 4v4, but this time with only 35 seconds left. Psycho, though, going off without a hitch, cleaning up on the 2k, should be a hat trick as well. Flicks across onto Astro, the wall band coming out, but none of the bullets will connect. Paranoia will be surging through the minds of FaZe at this point. You're in a two versus four. Astro's been caught on the rotate and it's all down to Yuna, the ride of the Valkyrie. But will it be the rise of FaZe? She does have a nitro cell. This could be pivotal in clutching out the round if it actually works out, but it's gonna blow up the floorboards and not get them into it. It's an awkward position to be in now, Tim. A 1v3 retake with 40 seconds left. He does get himself out of the way of the damage from the Nitro. Now, that's a great opener from Yuna. Can he get another two? He's got about 18 seconds left to do this one. He surely gets seen out between the cash piles there and shut down by Julio. Ultimately, NIP, they prevent FaZe taking three in a row to flip the script and come back with a draw. They managed to shut this one down 7-5, and that is massive for NIP in the fight for those those major spots because FaZe, they had to mount a run and they really needed to come forward and take as many as possible here. And the fact that the best they can get now is a draw overall, that is a big blow. Yeah, the point denial is huge. That is going to leave Mirror available. So we might see a little bit of play there for the Spanish operator. Yeah, but We've not seen much welly being given from live. But here we go. Luck of football straight through the window. The greenhouse is gone. And so is Muzi taken off the board as the opening frags are actually going the way of FaZe. Some close angles being rocked. Oh, that peak is going to sting in the morning live. He's on a bit of a warpath at the minute, Tim. Right now, they're content to see oh, exactly what's what. Time. And they will see what's what as Ion shuts down Psycho. Alive will get the trade onto Kamikaze. Nothing but an impactless kill as we trade our way to the, towards the end of round one. And FaZe, they Wait, come out being watched, laser focused on by Muzi, but Astro's lasered his way through Julio and gets a second. FaZe unable to take any meaningful control, but whilst the noise has been going on, look, Astro's got himself into service. Yuna's joined him and he gets the diffuser down. That is a real move from FaZe there. Ion, he just catches out Psycho on a rotate through Hall of Fame and puts him down. And right now, this is all going in the favour of FaZe. They've got that diffuser active on the ground. There's nothing for it but for Pino to run out and the doc he will deliver a magazine full of bad medicine jackie he comes in and smashes Whoa. yuna off the map muzi gets one as well the human uzi he deletes ion and we find ourselves now in a two versus one nip pino comes in shuts it down they just need to get the diffuser they know exactly where it is they've got two seconds to spare and pino on the dock he comes in huge to close out the round what a play from nip on the defense okay, get, let's get aggressive let's start having some peaks let's start having some run outs and let's start really Ooh. mixing things up the only thing mixed up there is Muzi's head as kds comes in and that is the fourth opening kill in a round in a row go to phase they were gunning to get themselves three rounds they're so close to achieving it 
This gets a bit awkward though. There is a bite back. Psycho peeking up through the window, shoots down and trades exactly as they net themselves a second. Pino's running the risk. He's out in the open, exposes himself, believing he'll find a frag here. He's really risking it for a biscuit. Oh. And in the final <laughs> moments, he'll actually connect onto Yuna from a substantial distance. This round has been carnage. Yuzer down and using his drone to get close contact. Late round rotation from Ion. Drops himself down. We'll find the frag onto Kamikaze. And it all falls on Pino. He's going to fall as he smashes his face off the wall. Finished off there in the dying moments by the Super Sledge himself as FaZe. They pick themselves up that third so round. We're looking at a potential plant spot, but Muzi and Pino, oh. they come in with big kills onto Live and Ion. And that is NIP rocketing themselves towards leveling things up for the half. But Yuna, he aggresses on into sight and takes himself a kill onto Kamikaze and starts getting that diffuser down. I'm not sure that NIP are aware. However, Julio notices in the absolute nick of time and he puts the man down. One versus two now. It is all up to Astro. One once again, second round in a row that he finds himself in this man disadvantage clutch situation, but certainly better than it was last time. He's on full HP. He sees one man in front of him. He looks to move in and make the challenge. They hit the deck and go prone. Astro finds the first onto Psycho and the second onto Muzi. Shuts him down and what a great double from Astro to clutch out the round. Doesn't even think about the diffuser. Just goes straight in for the kills. No, that flick shot onto the guy towards Cool Vibes is... barely stays alive and is ready to rumble a little bit more. Psycho making a risky attack there as he holds towards the window. Oh. But big man Julio, oh, he's going to find the frag on the KDS while Shuna dashes out the Nitro, decimating another man with a detonation for FaZe Clan. They need to get this one under their belt. And Astro's doing everything he can to belt his way to the finish line. Close encounter on Muzi there against the oh, awkward encount with the Mozzie. We'll actually find the frag and the final one is picked up by Ion with the SMG. Slaughtering his way through Julio and shutting down the competition in this round. You're not going through that in window. He hasn't had anything else in this round. As the peak comes around, a bit of a bob there on the peak up from Muzi. As he'll jiggle his way in and be jolly with the frag he finds. There is a trade back from Astro. Now taking him up to 14 kills into this map specifically. KDS, a stone cold killer, also gunning his way through. It's now a four on two. This is a huge advantage for Faye. Surely you cannot throw this one away. But what they will be throwing out is the smoke canisters and bullets into the face of Kamikaze. The Alda getting louder as Juna finishes it off Kamikaze. Julia will fall to Astro. That's up to 15 total frags now, Tim. He is playing out of his mind. Astro's on an absolute four tear. He's on four. We see Pino. He's on extremely low health, but Psycho, he's fighting back. Who else is going to shut down Astro but the talisman that we've seen over the last uh -oh. couple of weeks for NIP? Muzi, the human Uzi, comes in with one of his own onto Ion. We find ourselves with kills trading in both directions. Three versus two. Who is going to win this one out? Can FaZe close this down? Can they get themselves a point on the board or can NIP keep themselves fighting? It certainly looks so. Down as and knocked them out on the round, Psycho, he's doing absolutely everything at the minute getting the diffuser down and he baits the man out Julio holding the angle that was needed he will get the final kill onto the smoke of phase and that is going to be around what a nice wall bank they scratched themselves into the history books that's not good no that's not at all Tim but there is a trade that's going to be a bit better for the side of phase KDS swings out with the MP5, shutting down the first man, but they lose live. And this is just getting worse second by second. This is going to be a lightning fast round from NIP. As there's only two players alive for FaZe. It's Ion and Yuna. The Mute and the Mozzie. And the Mozzie has been blown to pieces. His face has just been left with a Chelsea smile after the interaction with Muzi. All eyes hard focused on Ion. The man left to clutch a potentially unclutchable round. This is such a tall order. He has got the natural tools to win it, but he doesn't have the chance. Peeks up towards the stairs. Julio will blow him down. And they are now in a great position to leave this game as a draw. The oh, the peek from you now with a vector. Getting vicious with that weapon. Shutting down Julio and leaving us. In an awkward two-on-two, two, a bit of a standoff in the final 30 seconds. Luckily, it seems that Kamikaze's been given a grace period to get the diffuser down and put them into a better position the pool now. table. But are they going to pot him as they will find the opening frag? Snookers out Yuna, and it's all left on Ion in a 1v2. An almost unwinnable position to be in. Goes round the corner, and NIP will snatch it. Phase. They fought two for nail for a victory here to end it as a draw in the series. But unfortunately, Tim, they get lumbered with a draw in the map.
All the way back from 5-2 down phase, had a serious advantage there, but just unable to get those final two rounds over the line to just secure the draw there, and that one is going to sting. How you doing, Julio? Hello, guys. I'm fine. How are you guys doing? Good, good man. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Obviously, a very, very close matchup there. We, we were kind of touting this as a bit of a, a major rematch. And it, it was quite a rematch. Very close games. Talk us through Clubhouse. What what caused that to be such a close affair? I think both teams, both are, teams are good on Clubhouse. We made some some mistakes. They we lost seven zero, so our Clubhouse was not you know that good. But we changed a few things and it worked out. It seemed on course line, particularly, Julio, like the entry battle was having a big impact on you. So when you lost those opening kills throughout the first half of the map, you sort of struggled a little bit. But then when we saw that great comeback at the end, you were just getting them, Muzi particularly, getting those entry frags every time. Did that have a big impact in the team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think we were losing uh, course line, but everyone on the team stepped up. We maintained calm. We know what to do because they they are already picked all the bomb sites, so we know what they're going to do. We just need to counter, and I think that that was it. I think we played really calm, and that's why we we got this map. Where he took down the player towards cool vibes, and then swung to shut down the round. That seemed like it was going to do some damage to your confidence, but in reality, it felt like if anything, you kind of bounced back from that point and really ran away with the game. Yeah, yeah, because uh, coastline is a, is a attack map side. Uh, so like we were two three. If we made three defenses, it's really good, you know. Mm -hmm. But we we lost that that round. But we got two def the defenses, so it was okay, you know. It's a pretty heavy attacker side, so we knew that and just maintain calm. It didn't uh, do bad for that clutch. It was okay, you know. Just another yeah. round. So that's Team Liquid, 24 rounds played against them, and you managed to win it by one round. Same again now with FaZe. Obviously, a big improvement since stage one where we saw a lot of draws. You're now getting it over the line to get those wins. Do you think you can take the top spot overall, Julio? For sure, we are aiming for the top one. It doesn't matter that much, you know, because it's you're going to uh, get the, the first place, but it's it's nice to be in the first place. And yeah, we, we are winning uh, a lot of close matches. I think we are pretty confident because we won the major. We are playing very good. So we are... We are get, getting these matches, you know, closing the, the important rounds, and that's pretty good for a, for a team.